Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm out asking for help, not for myself, but for somebody else. And of course, as usual, today's video has been brought to you in association with the Heart of the Tribe, where art meets community. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am here at the site with Scott, who's going to tell us all about why they need to move this, what they're looking for, and what you can do to help them find it. Hello, Scott. Hello. How are you? Well, it's not raining, so I feel much better. That's it's, it's, good. It's been a bit of a damp year so far. It has, hasn't so it? This is, this is beautiful. And the farmers are all suffering as well, aren't they? Oh, yes. And, and we've been having problems with slugs and things. Oh, so dear. As well, just stuff getting manky. So, what I've come to talk about, Scott, today is this. What is this, Scott? What's it called? What does it do? And what function does it serve? Uh, the, this is one of the projects. We're a charity here in Glastonbury. Uh, and our main thing is about supporting people who, in any way that they need supporting. So it's anyone who's struggling with life, anyone that just wants a bit of help, that's what we do, right? Um, at the end of COVID, we felt that a lot of people just felt a bit battered and a bit lost and a bit and a bit worn down and we were trying to work out what to do and one of our workers here knew someone that worked at the abbey who said oh we've got these old allotments not doing a lot of them at the moment do you want to do you want to use them and we went oh yeah they give us a little one right so two and a half years ago now we created what's called the growing happiness project which is basically allotments for people to come, grow food, grow flowers, but more about um, meet other people. Don't feel isolated, recharge your batteries uh, and get support if you need it. Uh, and it's gone from strength to strength. So uh, when, we, when it closes in September, we will have supported around about 400 people over the last two and a half years. Um, it's won a number of awards. So last year, in, as part of the In Bloom competition, we actually won from the RHS, um, the Gardening for the Disabled. <laughs> um, and a couple of weeks ago, we won an award from the Somerset's High Sheriff uh, for how we are just supporting people to do stuff. So yeah, come and, come and have a look. Let's go and have a look. So what can you tell me about what goes on in here? So basically at the moment, the, the allotments are open three days a week. Mm -hmm. and different groups are on different days. Okay. So Monday is actually run by another charity called Seed of Hope, mm -hmm. and, and they specialize with pe supporting people who have got long-term problems and need extra help. So okay. they, they come in on a Monday. Uh, on a Tuesday, we have a women's group running, which is what's going on right now. Uh, the sun's out, so a lot of them have gone off to do other things today, but we, 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 that runs today. Mm. Uh, we've got a young mums group which are over in the building and, and come over here uh, and do bits over here. Tomorrow there's a men's group, so we come and build stuff and, and do those sorts of things. And then tomorrow afternoon there's a youth group as well, so young people come and do stuff. So you've got all sorts of people, all ranges coming in here. Oh, yeah. And the other bit that happens tomorrow is there's a, a group called the Old Sorts, which are arts and crafts. Mm -hmm. And then in the winter, they do arts and crafts in our building. And in the summer, they come and do it here in the allotment because it's nice. Fantastic. And of course, you're just over the road there, aren't you? Where we yes. can see that We're scaffolding. literally over the road. Where we so can see the it's, scaffolding. It's been a perfect location for us mm. because it literally is outside the door. Yeah. Now... The next stage is you now have to move this garden, don't you? Yes, um, and, and we're sad about it. The, the, when the Abbey let us, let us on, they were very clear it was a temporary thing. Um, that at some point they would want the land back uh, for their own redevelopment. And unfortunately for us, at the end of last year, they said, we're giving you 12 months notice, we, we need the land. <laughs> But they've given it to us for free. So, and know, they've given you 12 months. And they've given us nearly 12 months notice. Uh, I think from the initial phone call, of the initial face-to-face, -face, it was 12 months. Um, so they've given us plenty of notice. Yeah. Um, one of, oh, yeah. That's all right, Lou. Ru. Hello, Ru. Hello, Ru. He wants to play. He wants to play. Um, so uh, we initially started working with the town council. 
mm-hmm. and trying to find the project a new home. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, nothing nothing has sort of surfaced in that process. Yeah, the Somerset transition has happened at the wrong time, yes. hasn't it? Yeah, and there's a lot of confusion as to who who owns what bit of land and all this sort of stuff. Mm. Um, what it's meant is that uh, a month or two ago, we realised that the clock's ticking down mm. and we need to get the project a new home. Yes. Yeah. Uh, as I said, it, it supports between sort of 20 and 30 people a week. Um, and without the project, a lot of those individuals will get no support. One of the things that we seem to have picked up is that where lots of services have closed or shrunk, people have been left at high and dry high and without dry. any support. Yeah. And they're turning up to us. Yeah. So in amongst doing stuff here on gardening, last week I was helping someone with their tax return. I was also helping someone return something to Amazon because it had been delivered wrong. Yeah. And they didn't know, they couldn't to, cope with mm. the online system. Mm. Yeah. So a lot of what we're doing now is, is, is Citizens Advice Bureau type stuff mm. where people are doing all, all that. And they're vulnerable, stuff. some of these people, aren't yes. they? Yeah. So yeah. it's essential work you're doing. Yeah. Um, we also get a lot of people who are just feeling a bit lonely. Mm. And what they want to do is just join in and, and, and meet other people and chat. Of course they do. So we drink a lot of tea here. Mm. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's the situation the garden now finds itself in. The job we now have to do is find somewhere else for it to go. As you can see, it's really well used, it's really well maintained, and it's an essential thing for an awful lot of people. So, what we're doing now is we're looking for somewhere for this place to move before September. Now, if you've got any ideas, you might have a piece of land. It doesn't have to be huge. I mean, if you have a look over here, this is not a massive spot. So if you have a piece of land or you know a piece of land, then get in touch because this place has got to carry on. It's doing essential work and we really mustn't let this go by the wayside. So what we need you to do is if you know of a piece of land or somebody you might have a piece of land, drop us a line. We'll get in touch with these guys. And the other thing is it needs to be kind of in town because some of these people haven't got yeah. good transport, have and, they? And, and that's the problem is that we've had a few really nice offers mm. of spaces, but it's all been too far out. Yeah. Um, what we need is literally a badminton court, a, mm. a, 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 a tennis court, that size or slightly bigger. Mm-hmm. Um, in actual fact, one of the things that we looked at was a piece of car park somewhere. Yes, because we were you, talking about we this were earlier. Talking, oh, right. And initially I went, oh, it's a car park, I can't do that. And then actually one of the things we've had a problem with is mud here and wheelchairs and Zimmer frames and walking sticks. So actually putting it on a hard surface would work really well. Right, because we bring everything up to waist height, people don't have to bend down, we just build everything at that height, and but the ground is hard, so mm. therefore it's, it's accessible. And a bit of scrap land might be easier to find than a, a working garden or oh, something. Oh, completely. Because mm. um, we'll just move everything in. Mm. Yeah? Um, so, yeah, I mean, if it has water supply, that would be nice, but we'll also catch the stuff off the roof and, you know, all those sorts of things. Mm. Um, that's it. Um, what we've been saying is something within five or ten minutes of the high street as a, in a walk. Mm. Because actually the other bit is a, a lot of the people we support are living on or below the poverty line. Mm. Therefore can't afford a car, can't afford the bus fares. It's got to be within walking distance of where they live. Fantastic. Um, so unfortunately the stuff that's out of town doesn't work because they no. can't get there and, and we don't have any money to sort of run a shuttle or whatever. No, so, of course not. Yeah, it, it, is, it is what it, it is. It is what it is. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't have to be a garden. It can be a scruffy piece of land. Within five minutes of the high street, these guys will turn it into a garden. It's a win-win, isn't it? Yes. It's a win-win. They get to their scruffy bit of land looks nice. You get somewhere to work on. Everybody's happy. Should we have a look around what's here and oh, you yeah. can show us? I mean, one, one of the things worth saying is we, we made a decision when we first opened this as to what do we do with the food that's produced. Yes. Because it's, predom- it's, it's 95% food, food production. 5% sort of flowers. Yeah. Right? And what we decided is that half of the food people would take home. Mm-hmm. So those that, that actually volunteer and come here take half the food home. So they get okay. direct access to organically grown, fresh 
fruit and veg. Right. The other half we feed in to the community fridge and the food bank and those that those sorts of setups. Gotcha. So it, it hits two really nice bits from my point of mm. view. It's putting food into people's houses, mm -hmm. but it's also putting food into the community. That's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. Let's go and have a look because it's, it's an amazing looking place, this. I'll follow you. All right. <laughs> and again, I should explain to the viewers, I know this much about plants. I zip nothing. They're green, they grow in the ground. I'm sad to say that's where I kind of finish. I mean, what are these? Right, and I have to say, I also don't know anything. I mean, these are runner beans, I know this They're one. They're runner beans. Um, I, I define myself as the builder. Yes. I, I built the shed and the, and the edges. Yeah, and, and the you don't need to know right. about this stuff. Right. Uh, and over there amongst the flowers is, is, uh, is Sue, who's, mm -hmm. the, who's the gardener. Okay. So she's the one that can... So I may, we actually had to put signs up. So uh, we were going around now putting signs on everything just so I knew what they were. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Broad beans, and now they are. They are actually broad beans. And who is this we've got here who keeps coming uh, to say hello? This is Rue. Hello, Rue. Rue, Rue is mine. Oh, he's your but dog. He's my dog. Um, the joy of, of Rue is he's a very stupid yes. two-year-old Labrador. Oh, no. Right? And on condition that you'll pat his head, yeah. maybe give him the end of your sandwich, yeah. he'll be your friend for life. For life. <laughs> yeah, I like dogs like that. <laughs> I see you've got a little shelter here as well, which is good for when it rains. Yes. As, as I said, we do a lot of drink, uh, tink, uh, drinking of tea here. Okay. And coffee and, and just sitting around and sort of chewing the cud and, and chatting about things. That's an essential part of gardening, right. sitting around talking about it. Yeah. And I see you're obviously doing all your recycling here as well. Yeah. I mean, one of, one of the things, it was done initially because we had no money, but has become a philosophy of the site, ah. is that everything is recycled. Gotcha. So the whole thing, the sheds, the greenhouses, everything is recycled mm -hmm. uh, as much as we can. Yeah, um, so this is part of that process. This is actually trying to sort of separate out the waste and work out what can be reused and everything else. I'm loving your greenhouse over there. Well, come, come, come have a look. Let's come. go and have a look. It's, uh, it's amazing what you can do with bits and pieces that people throw away, isn't it? So come on, come on in. Right, so the, the actual shed itself here is, is built of pallets um, and then has a tin roof put on. Mm -hmm. So uh, the only thing we bought was the roof, but it was second hand, so we only paid a few quid for it. Mm -hmm. um, the polytunnel we're in now is the same thing. This is made of plastic piping and stuff. Um, and it's, it's just, yeah, we build what we need to build out of things that we get donated or, you know, beg and borrow from, from sort of businesses and things. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, you've done all this out of old rubbish that would have been skipped, yes. probably. Yeah. It does function, right? Can but this as, be retaken apart from Yes, no, this is what, what we're doing at the moment is we've been asked by the town council to carry on being in the In Bloom competition, mm -hmm. which will take place this month and next That's month. right, yes, we'll be reporting so on that. We are um, working now as if we're not closing. Mm -hmm. And then come the end of July, beginning of August, we then swap hats and we start taking things apart. Gotcha. So, so would you need help with that as well? Yes, end of, end of August and into September, we, we will need help. In, in basically muscle in, in actually closing things down. We will come back and we will have another local chat with these people. If they haven't found anywhere, we will be asking you for your help to come and help them close down. This is amazing. I'm, I'm, you don't, cause you're so tucked away. Unless you've been in here, you don't realize no. all of this work that's going on. It's fabulous, and absolutely it's in the middle fabulous. Of town. So we're actually on Abbey ground here, aren't yes. we? Yeah. yeah. My understanding is this used to be the garden for producing the food for Abbey House. They've grown fruit and veg here for hundreds of years. Oh, yeah. so the soil is quite rich. Yes. And, yeah. Originally, it also included the car park, which is behind us. Mm -hmm. And then that lot was turned into, the half of it was turned into a car park. But this was left. Beyond that fence over there that you can see behind the trees is car park. It's Silver Street car park. It's Silver Street car park. Yeah. The Heart of the Tribe Gallery is a community art gallery situated near the top of Glastonbury High Street. They host amazing exhibitions supporting local artists and they have a beautiful secret garden out the back. So be sure to check them out and support local art. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, while walking through the garden, we met Deirdre. Now, Deirdre is, um, shall we say, a work in progress. We're going to be told all about Deirdre. Tell me about Deirdre. Well, 
Deirdre, um, going to sit amongst the flowers here. Yeah. And um, enjoy the sunshine. Mm -hmm. And I might make her a cup of tea later on and give her a cake. I heard about the tea. Did you mention cakes? Yes, yes. She she's mentioned cakes, cake. ladies and gentlemen. But she hasn't got a face yet. We'll no. Her on her face. Mmm. But when I picked her up just a minute ago, her head fell off. Oh dear. So I've got a bit of... That's, that's a lack of cake causes that, I tell you. Absolutely, absolutely. A bit of cake will sort that one out. So this is going to be our flower garden. Ah. So we just want to make it pretty. Yes. And nice look. For somewhere to sit. Yeah. I love the paint scheme you use yes. here. It's absolutely amazing. Very oh. bright and... A cheerful. Cheerful. We need yeah. cheerful. We don't want anything miserable, do we? No. And this lady, Deirdre, Deirdre. Uh, is she going to be a feature of the garden here? Absolutely. You can come and see Deirdre any time. I think I will <laughs> come and see Deirdre any time. <laughs> We're going to put some ribbons in her hair as well. Oh, good. Give her a face with a nice big smile. She's happy to be here. Thank you so much for showing us, Deirdre. Are we back to see Deirdre? I love her boots. Look at those boots, ladies and gentlemen. What an amazing character. Well, thank you for showing us around this. This is amazing. So we're going to put this video out and we're going to hope um, that somebody can come up who might have a piece of land about the size of a badminton court. Doesn't have to be soil. It doesn't have to be a garden. It can be a bit of rough land. These guys are really adaptable and they can do anything and they will do anything. You watch. So if you've got anything that you think might help this amazing garden here to carry on after September, please, 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 Get in touch below and I will get it straight to Scott here and he'll be in touch. But for now, from this amazing garden, just off Silver Street, with Scott, thank you and goodbye. <laughs>